That's how this makes me feel. Mm. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Jordan Andino, and we're making white chocolate eggnog fondue. It's a twist on a classic dessert and a perfect reason for everyone to gather around the table. Fondue is a simple yet impressive dessert to make. So click subscribe now to see more recipes that'll wow your friends and family. I love eggnog. It's delicious, it's tasty. You can use a bunch of different flavors from like sugar cookie all the way down to like cinnamon or ginger. It just reminds me of the holidays. We're gonna put it in over medium heat. Let's get this nice and hot. Let's bring out some of those aromatics. Once we're done with the eggnog, let's throw in some whipping cream. So what we're doing here is we're diluting the eggnog because let's be real, eggnog can be a little thick. So we're gonna put about a quarter cup of the whipping cream in to kind of dilute it and just let that heat up. Now we're gonna season it a little bit because keep in mind, anytime you're cooking, you wanna add your flair, your little bit here. So yes, we're adding some nutmeg. It's delicious. But you can also have cinnamon, ginger, clove works as well. I like to use kosher salt. You can control the grain and what you have in your finger, but we're just gonna put a little bit of a pinch. Fun tip, when you're seasoning anything, go higher, because the higher you go, the better distribution you get. And then while that heats up, we can give it a little whisk just to make sure that everything gets properly incorporated. There you go. So now we're gonna add a about half teaspoon of cornstarch and some brandy. In this case, we're making a slurry. A lot of people don't know this, a slurry is a thickener using specifically cornstarch. You don't have to use brandy if you don't like liquor. You can also put uh, beer if you want, you can put wine, but you can also put water or heavy cream, maybe a little bit more eggnog. So we're gonna pour that right in. Perfect, and immediately you're gonna see it kind of thicken up and start to bubble, and you're gonna notice that near the edges of the pot, it's gonna kind of get a little bit thicker and more viscous. Now let's grab our white chocolate, one cup, white chocolate right into there, and then immediately cut the heat. All right, look at that. Dip consistency is perfect. Chocolate melted, it'll grab anything that you dip into it. Speaking of, let's go grab our dippers. This white chocolate eggnog fondue is perfect because, you know, it gathers everyone around a table and not just that, you know, it's all these small little desserts and little meals all in one. So here we have some little gingerbread homies. I like to call them gingerbread homies because they're like, there's homies just chilling out. So then you have these dehydrated apricots. You know, those go well because they have, bring a nice kind of fruitiness and maybe even lightness to such a heavy kind of dish. And whenever you're plating this, you always want to crowd. So notice I'm using everything here, creating these heaps and mounds, making it look bountiful. All right, so now we have some awesome strawberries. What's nice about fresh fruit is that it has some acidity and tartness too, which will help cut through the thickness and viscosity that is the white chocolate eggnog fondue. Then we're gonna have some dehydrated dried mango. So uh, I gotta tell you, if you're Asian, you probably recognize these. We grew up with this my entire life. They're delicious. They have like this great kind of tanginess to them. Obviously, they give you that sweet mango vibe. Notice the color distribution here. I'm not putting the same things together. Like the apricots and the mangoes, they are kind of the same hue. So you wanna kind of separate them so that the colors really pop. Next up, we're gonna cut up some marble pound cake here. In fact, I'm just gonna go two at once. First off, I'm gonna give it a nice cut straight down the middle, and then I'm gonna get some nice cubes out of these. And you wanna go a little bit heavier on the cubes so that you know it holds up to the thickness of the fondue. So we're gonna break them up a little bit, and then now look at that awesome texture that you're getting. And once again, we're piling it on, really overlapping with each other. The best desserts, the best food really have great juxtaposition of texture and of flavor. So this is a salty pretzel stick with the sweet white chocolate fondue, delicious. So we're gonna put them right here, really overlap them and make this look just full and amazing. Let's get fancy. You wanna get fancy at home? Get fancy. So all you gotta do is cut the apple straight down, not all the way down to the seed. And we're gonna use this right here. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna first cut off this first little end Kind of eat that, do what you will with it. Then we're gonna make a fan. You don't wanna go too thin, cause the thinner you go, the harder it is for the dip. But you can still get a nice fan and you're gonna see that, you know, it's a great way for people to come in. You can impress everyone, but you can also have a nice kind of garnish for this entire dish. 
We're gonna put it right here. Look at that, beautiful. So now we're gonna take our fondue. You wanna make sure that the fondue is runny, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna heat it up a little bit. Look at that, done in a second. So now looks delicious. Now let's give it a nice pour right into the middle. Perfect, look at that, delicious. And the only thing left to do after you make this beautiful dish is taste it. Take some apple right here. That's my little leftover. Amazing. Mmm, so good. It feels like it's hugging my insides. The white chocolate and especially that eggnog make for a perfect dip, but the flavors all really match and just scream the holidays. If you have any holiday recipes that you wanna share, put them in the comments below. I'm Jordan Andino. Happy holidays.